Hello everybody, Shelty Walty is back. Uh, today's gonna be a bit of a different video. Um, <clears throat> I kinda wanna explain or uh, give some ideas about how I would do GBO 3, I guess. Um, I don't think a lot, I'm, I know I'm gonna get flamed in the, uh, in the uh, comments because a lot of people seem to hate my ideas. <laughs> uh, but I, I still like them, and I like how the GOG is actually peeking that way. I don't think I've ever noticed that before about this little thing. No reason I still have that on, because the GOG is still my favorite aquatic mobile suit. And it's also in memory of the Master Grade that I cannot complete, due to the fact that uh, I'm still missing that one fucking piece. So, um, let's get to it. So, one of my ideas I have is to introduce for GBO1 a weights or a gbo2 or a three i mean god uh is to introduce a weight system um say like take light armor mobile suits for example right i feel like all light armor suits should have exceedingly good boost consumption uh because they they that's what you know and they should be exceedingly fast why is a gym light armor only have 120 movement speed? This thing should be zooming. This thing, this thing should have 130, 135 easy. Uh, it does. It also should have exceedingly strong, uh, bo uh, exceedingly v uh, good boost consumption rate, where that bar barely moves. And I really don't like. And this is for every category of mobile suits. I really dislike. The concepts of the initial uh, boost consumption you get when you start your boosting. There is no reason why my boost gauge should be 25% taken the moment I start boosting. That is stupid. Uh, I really don't like that. So, uh, as I'm talking about, we have a light armor. So this thing should be really squishy. It has no armor. Uh, its joints should be able to be broken faster and uh maybe be stunned a little bit easier uh through different means like grenade should be able to stun it stuff like that and again i say this because it has no armor um but i want this thing to be zippy i'm talking about insanely fast i'm talking like holy crap where'd you come from and how are you getting to me so fast wait no stop type of thing you know what i'm saying and this should before all light mobile suits and that includes the uh gun uh gun and prototype because lore wise that actually has very light armor com uh, compared to the rx78-2 and the rx78-3 um the rx78-1 should uh should have a shotgun attachment for the the proto beam rifle it carries to turn it into a shotgun that would help it as a sub weapon one shot equals one overheat but it, it's essentially a guaranteed stun um i think that would be uh, a perfect uh upgrade to the part uh, uh the um prototype gundam so let's go on to a different category uh raids that act like generals so here we have a unit five uh which is a raid. It's a really good raid if you guys haven't used it. Uh, it has 130 movement speed uh, and all that. Uh, I got all I got custom parts on it, so other, you know, of course the other stats are going to be uh, different. So I'm kind of fine with the way this suit plays because it is a it's a raid that plays like a general. So it doesn't really. Uh, need any changes the way they have th this suit here is perfectly fine uh it's got the speed it needs to get up uh up close and personal if it needs to be it's got the uh perfect amount of stats for its range correction so it can shoot and do that high amount of damage at range if it needs to it covers all bases the way they did this suit is perfect I wouldn't change anything about how they have suits that are customized like the unit five. Uh, let's go to the GOG. So we also have raids that 
are big, thick, tanky, extremely slow. And my problem with suits like the uh, these is uh, it's kind of twofold, but it's a double-edged sword type of thing. Um, they're slow, but they hit hard. They're slow, but they take a lot of damage. They're slow, but get stunned by a, uh, a shotgun, which makes no sense. It absolutely makes no sense. Um, I feel like uh, because they don't affect it, but if the Gog is moving about, not boosting or anything, but if he's shot by a bazooka, he should still do the micro flinch. Say like when you are tagged by um, those SML missiles and you do that eh, flinch and it makes you lose like your charge shot or prevents you from acting or something like that. I feel like it should do the same to the Gog. Uh, it also, it also should have like a sub weapon because in a lot of the, uh, a lot of the times, in a lot of other games, the Gog is shown sh uh, firing a scattering mega particle cannon from its chest, it's the same one that does the the solid shots. Uh, it's also able to fire in a scatter pattern. That would be a very very nice addition additional weapon to this mobile suit as a sub weapon to act like a shotgun when encountering other gogs if there is such a thing but yeah um they also did this suit right uh there's no reason why this thing needs to be faster it is a thickum uh there is no reason um it, it's like how it was in gbo1 i think in gbo1 it actually had really really crappy melee resist if i'm not mis uh, mistaken let me get a drink But, uh, yeah, I would definitely not change much about it. Maybe give it sub sub weapon. And then we also have raids that play like supports. Uh, the G-Line Assault Armor has this gnarly, gnarly uh, rocket cannon over the shoulder. This thing is exceedingly strong. It hurts. You don't want to be shot by it. It also has the uh, Lance that does stupid amount of damage and the only drawback to this suit is the shotgun now the um, the g lines every single g line and the seventh technically should share weapons they all have interchangeable equipment so you should be able to switch that backpack off for the missile pods if you wanted to that are on the g line assaults or the g line light armor or the gatling smashers from the standard armor if you wanted to, you could also take the uh, full armor seventh gunnams beam rifle if you wanted to, but they don't allow that. See, uh, suits that are tied into a family should have interchangeable weapons. Um, the RX 71, 2, and 3 should all have their weapons sw swapped. Like, there's no reason why my RX 78 2 cannot take the javelin or. My G3 can't take the dual beam saber. Uh, yeah, the dual beam sabers. There's no reason why it can't. Um, so they did this one just fine. I feel like uh, movement speed is sort of a little too high for this thing. I would still drop it down maybe uh, to 110. Uh, there's a lot of equipment on this thing. If it were... If it were to... Uh, what's the What's the word I'm looking for? I'm, not, I'm unable to think of the word I'm trying to think. Does this thing have strong tackle or shield tackle? It does. That should be changed to a higher level. Um, this, the, because sh the shield it opens up. It's supposed to be a claw. You're supposed to be able to grab other suits and you know pick them up, smash them, and stuff like that. But it doesn't have that action in this game. So I feel like strong, uh, shield tackle should definitely be increased. So like for the we have. A tree of suits in this game for raids that play pretty much every branch with the exception of sniping I don't think we have a counter sniping raid yet uh, and we'll get to that at some other point uh, when they do finally introduce a sniping raid because um, right here we pretty much have the anti uh, anti uh, antithesis 
I can't pronounce that word, but you guys know what word I'm trying to say. Essentially, we have four perfectly good raids here, and they're not even, these raids are not even uh, meta anymore, but they can take on pretty much generals and raids and supports just fine by themselves. I absolutely hate fighting really decent gym light armor uh, players. They suck. I hate Man, they, they can be absolutely oppressive to a support. So I definitely feel light armor should definitely get faster. These guy, uh, suits like this should definitely, if they're going to stay slow, uh, either make them pack up, uh, pack a even higher wallop when they do get in or give them a, a slightly better, because both the range correction, uh, both range weapons on the suit are actually kind of doo-doo. Um... Mega particle cannons don't do a whole lot of damage. I think it's like 500 per shot. And then the, the missiles are only there for stun. They don't do dick for damage. I think even two supports, I've only seen like 1,200 damage. And they're only single shot. Mega particle cannons are two shot if you can suck you to fire them. Uh, Gunnam Unit 5 is perfect where it's at. It plays just fine uh, considering it's a ranged raid with pretty decent stats right off the bat i don't think they don't need to change see like suits there should be sub there should be the categories of raid general and support but there should also be subcategories for like light armor raid light armor general light armor support stuff like that and then have it branch out then you also got of course the uh more uh supporty type raid well, let's, let's go on to um, Generals. So, Generals cover a wider range than both Supports and Raids in the form of you have Support type uh, Generals uh, in the form of, like, say, the Full Armor Gun Ground type, the Full Armor uh, Striker Custom, which, here's the kicker of this one, and depending on what form you're in, will depend on if this guy's a shooty uh, support general or a unga bunga general, because once you hit uh, it's hits Hades form, it goes unga bunga. So he fills two roles depending on what form you're in. Are you non Hades or you're Hades? Then you have your sniper uh, general types. Then uh, you have your standard general types, which are uh, your main weapon, your sub weapon, and your melee weapon. Then you actually have your melee uh, generals, and then you have just uh, you know your standard like kind of like brick wall support type generals right here. Like it's see generals, which I don't mind that generals fit this type of description. They can go a little bit everywhere. They're general support. They're general use mobile suits. That's what general use is for, right? General use is like, well, I really need, let's like take uh, an AR-15, right? Oh, I need to hit a target that's a little further than what my AR-15 is designed for. Slap on a scope, maybe a, uh, a grip, better grip, and your sight into your target, you're going to hit better. Hence, you know, you take a... a, a uh, prototype. I think the full armor gun ground type is the prototype one. Um, that's based off the proto. Take the proto gun them and then slap on a little bit of extra armor onto it and give it some better ranged weapons and boom, you got yourself a, <laughs> you know, a better suit. Or a generalized suit. So, uh, the only problem with some of these suits is, say, the full armor gun of ground type now can be a they can be a very gross, nasty piece of work, which I really need to fix his build because this is a gross build that is suboptimal. I need to fix that. Um, so you have suits such as the full armor gun of ground type where uh, his cannon kind of does like piddly damage. It's just there for stun. His beam. Uh, Double beam uh, gun on his uh, right arm. Really is there for chip damage. He's got head Vulcans. He's also got the SML, which is immediately pretty good. It doesn't matter <laughs> what suit that SML is on. That's, that weapon's going to uh, hurt. 
And then you also have uh, Balancer with two hit melee combo. So, and from my experience with this suit is that you have to, uh, you really, really, really need to bounce between all your weapons. You can't just focus on your, your main handheld or wrist held gun and the cannon. You need to bounce between your SML and your cannon and your handheld. You need to get into melee here and there. You need to, you need, you not, you need to not be afraid with this suit. And that's weird considering you have the next suit, the full armor striker custom, which where you can just, the moment you spawn, pop Hades and just go on Gabunga, ignore all your ranged weapons. See, and I've I fought players like that, and they're kind of terrifying because this suit actually has really good kit. Uh, it's beam rifle, the twin linked uh, thing, whatever this thing is called. It yeah, the twin beam rifle can't stun on initial hit, and uh, that's kind of gross. Uh, and this suit is fully kitted out with a, a crap ton of weapons, and all the weapons on this suit hit hard. <laughs> even harder, like, even with the different range stats, I feel like my weapons on the Striker Custom hit way harder than my full armor gun of ground types. Um, this thing is an insanely uh, annoying monster to fight, especially when in Hades, because I've had where I've swung first, Again, this is melee party uh, kicking in, and it I could have had that dude stunned, and he just casually swings himself out of the stun to hurt me. Um, so I feel like because this these two, well, not this one actually, right? Lore wise, they took the full armor weapon system package that was meant for the uh, Grandpa Gundam. Put it on the prototype but they changed it they reduced the amount of armor it got by a lot i think it was like 60 percent armor was removed and it really was just came down to was the extra uh cannon the sml and the and they made the hand weapons a lot lighter and stuff carrying like a, the whole huge twin linked uh double beam rifle it's just a single uh double barrel beam gun so this one I wouldn't I wouldn't mind if it was actually faster than this suit because it kind of makes no sense that it isn't. Uh it has a lot less weapons. Um this thing is has additional armor and a metric crap ton of weapons just mounted all over it. And for whatever reason it's faster than this suit, which makes no sense. See, this is where I'm coming from. Lore-wise, it's bugging me, right? This is absolutely just bugging the crap out of me because this suit should technically be able to run faster and now i don't i don't want to say move boost faster i'm pretty sure this one's got better a better backpack uh fuck, how do i move do that uh let's see if i can get a uh picture of the back uh it doesn't look like i'm able to but um yeah this thing should definitely move a lot slower I would say almost drop it down to 115 to match the amount of armor and weapons it has, but then gain that speed again when it goes into Hades because that's, you know, unlocking the suit's true potential. So there's a, I know there's a 50 point cost. I don't have the level one. I only have the level two. So, uh, there, see, that's, you know, kind of where I'm coming from with these two suits. That's why I chose both these suits. Uh, let's go on to the Sniper. So the Gym Sniper 2 is one of the suits they do not know how to buff. And that sort of makes sense. Uh, and the way I would buff it is actually give it a, another sub-weapon. Because right now, it has the... Uh, what weapons? That? It has the Head Vulcans, which aren't, which aren't that good. Uh, it's got a grenade, and then it's also... Its main weapon is the uh, large uh, beam rifle, enhanced type. And of course, the Beam Saber uh, late model. So the problem with this suit is they do not know how to cus uh, They do not know how to buff it to make it look good or be good or at least better. When they uh, the last buff it had was it was able to run around and charge its rifle at the same time. They removed that because it actually lowered the win rate on the suit because people were start. I think if I'm remembering correctly, people were starting to miss their shots because of it. 
which makes sense. Uh, the only change I would do would g uh, give it a different self weapon. Uh, honestly, get rid of this as a handheld altogether. Uh, I'm talking about for everything that uses this thing as a main weapon. Turn it into a sub weapon if they if they're afraid to um, buff this beam rifle because it is used at 300. Get rid of this rifle entirely, and then turn it into a sub weapon for the suits that can that can use it. And that goes for the gym sniper too. I would give that to the gym sniper as a sub weapon. Um, that way you can run and gun with that beam rifle, and then once you're stunned, you can just pop off the, uh, a shot with this, and then land a grenade. Um, so the, the lore wise, the gym sniper too is one of the highest performing mobile suits in the one year war it is more powerful than most of the gundams that appeared during the one year war this thing the gem sniper 2 was an absolute unit of a mobile suit able to uh move faster boost faster just in general do everything better i think all the way up to the g3 the, uh, to the G3 Gundam, the Unit Five, I think Unit Five and uh, the Unit Four and Five were about the same, and then it's I think it starts losing out to like the Mudrock and the Seventh, if I'm not mistaken. But this thing was an absolute unit during the One Year War, right? Stat-wise, I feel like it's fine. Melee correction could go up. These things were not dedicated 100% sniper units like the Sniper Custom, these things could go into melee, hence the reason why they're able to take uh, a wide variety of weapons. During the One Year War, they're essentially able to equip whatever weapon they wanted during the One Year War. They had that ability, you could take the ground-type equipment, you could take space-type equipment, uh, not the Sniper, the White Dingo. They had their space equipment actually removed off this suit to allow better stuff for ground combat. So, um, does this even have ground capability? Yeah, it does, huh? Um, but yeah, uh, seeing that, I feel like the, without my buffs, I feel like range correction should pump up a little bit further. Uh, and, uh, because these suits are meant to be, like, absolute freaking knockers, 130 running speed should be fine to put it on par with some of the higher uh, higher costing Gundams because that's where it's supposed to be at. I feel. Uh, otherwise, make that beam rifle uh, the sub uh, the Gundam ground type beam rifle into a sub weapon for both this suit and pretty much any suit that is able to carry said weapon. And I I feel like that would fix that weapon's problem because that weapon's they don't know how to buff that weapon because it's you could make it stronger. But then it's too strong at 300. You know what I'm saying? So I would just make that into a sub weapon. So this is uh, now this is not a weight class discussion, I guess. Uh, this is what I would change. The, uh, these two is definitely a weight class discussion. I feel uh, the GPL one was just here as a like as the placeholder for you know, hey, this is what a general, a standard general. Uh, should be like uh, ver has high movement speed really good boost speed um, turning speed like turning speed in this game I don't like because uh, the Zaku the Zaku 2 has a turn speed of 1.6 seconds lore wise that's pretty quick that's really quick I think it's like 10 seconds in game <laughs> that makes no sense <coughs> Sorry, I had to get a drink. Um, but yeah, um, so that was just our placeholder for this suit. And then you get the Unkabunga Generals. Suits that are general types that are meant to just go in. Now, don't get me wrong, this suit does have two forms of ranged weapon in the form of the boomerang cutters mounted in its head and the stern files mounted on its hip. So this suit's main uh, damage delivery system is to get in 
and throw those hands around and use that heat sword. So I already feel like the movement speed on this suit, and I feel like all generals who play like this, who are meant to get in, should have similar stats in the form of, while they're really, really good uh, at attacking in melee, they should also have like a glaring weakness somewhere that you can exploit. Like when this suit was initially released, this thing's biggest weak weakness with, was its two beam defense. It only had two beam defense. Or it was really, really low. I'm pretty sure it was only two. So anybody with a beam rifle was going to melt this thing. But if it got in, you're dead. <laughs> uh, and it's, that's still true today. If this thing gets into any form of melee with anybody, they're dead. You do not want to get comboed by the suit. So, um, style-wise, the suit is good. Um, I would still reduce the beam damage. It needs a weakness somewhere, or at least uh, keep the beam uh, a little bit lower. Not back to two, but a little bit lower. It needs suits that are that are able to exploit the weakness of another. And this exploits two categories. It expo exploits most raids because raids do not want to fight generals. And it exploits uh, supports because practically no support has good beam or melee defense. <laughs> so this the, this the Zogok, take this guy, uh, uh, take this guy for example, can go and beat the crap, literally go ham on a raid and just destroy it in a combo in a combo. I've done it. Or can go and destroy. Uh, a support in half a combo, even with the damage reduction. So these need to have a weakness. As you can see, it only has 16 range correction, but those boomerang cutters are no slouch in uh, melee combat or ranged combat. Those things hurt. They stun relatively quick and fire relatively quick. Um, same with that Sturmfaust. That thing hits hard. Sturmfaust, all Sturmfaust, because they're single shot weapons always hit extremely hard so uh i don't know what you would do for these types of suits movement speed is fine uh even though it's not a light armor i feel like the movement speed is fine for said suit because it's meant to just get in um and then you have the brick wall uh general types this is like your the enemy can focus you and you they're you're just gonna laugh it off so you got brick types, um, brick wall types. And I still feel like the movement speed of 120 is still a little too fast for this suit. Uh, I would drop it down to like 115, 110. Uh, it has a decent amount of ranged weapons. You got the the, the Jagging Bazooka. Uh, really kick-ass head Vulcans. Uh, the beam rifle, a grenade launcher, and the club. All exceedingly strong uh weapons so and this is one of those suits where i feel is just a smidgen too fast and that's it the brick wall nature of this suit means you're not going to go down anytime soon especially if you abuse your uh your guard ability which i can't exact active guard level three which essentially gives active uh oops i didn't mean to go that far back essentially gives your active guard ability balancers so you could be boosting and you just you just activate it I mean, your suit will come out of a boost and just start guarding so uh it's an it, the this suit's in a weird weird category in the form of it's exceedingly strong in defense and as you can see it's exceedingly strong in melee which kind of don't make sense considering its weapon base is ranged based uh, it doesn't have a secondary beam saver anywhere. It's just the solitary one. Still hits really hard though. But its weapon system is range based. And I know it's to really balance the suit. You don't want a, a range suit with a shit ton of weapons do, just dumping range damage, which makes no sense uh, to me. Um, and then you give it a 13 range strength and a. Uh, uh, a 33 melee strength to me that doesn't make any sense that's like hey you got all these weapons 
but you really want to just go on Gabunga. That makes no sense to me. Um, so my the way I would do it is suits like if you give a suit a crap ton of weapons, ranged weapons, it should have a decent firing correction to take advantage of those ranged correct or that th those ranged weapons. Um, and that's my problem with a lot of the decisions BB Studios has with certain suits is that they don't a lot of the time i don't think they balance their suits at all or just they just say send it uh take the new uh echoist jagan that thing is an absolutely terrifying monster to fight uh the beam pistol it has can do 1500 a shot and it's two round burst and it has an extremely fast firing rate so and it will stun you in four shots and you will if you get hit by the first one you're getting hit by the second one that's how fast the uh that beam pistol travels and then it has access to a bazooka and uh really really high powered uh napalm grenades like that thing is absolutely set to kill it if you're getting hit by any of its melee weapons it's auto damaging your uh your head legs and back and that's if you're attacking from the back if i'm not mistaken so suits like that like the um that's scary that's overtuned and uh uh avenger uh said it will need to be nerfed later on down the line so suits like this the gustav carl um definitely needs to hit with a essentially just swap its ranged and melee strength and its movement speed needs to be reduced a little bit. And I feel like this would be in a perfect category of just this general that's slow and sluggish, and but it's taking so much damage. Rounds are just bouncing off of him as he unloads ranged weapon after ranged weapon into targets. Um, so let's go on to the weakest class in the game so far. Um, so I'm not gonna say like all supports need a buff, most some of the suits that you i have in this category are here just to prove that these suits don't need a buff now let's take uh and they're like the most recent like absolutely banging supports that have been introduced are the siskweed for one the siskweed is an absolutely nightmare suit to fight especially when it gets a level three offense system this thing is an absolute monster it goes from uh doing high range damage to it's in your face and holy crap it is just melee priority with a a raid it's got to be careful with that then you also have uh the rezel command or rezel type c defensor b unit extraordinarily strong units very very insanely strong two supports so the reason i have these two here these are transforming mobile suits my biggest gripe with transforming support types is we don't these two suits they don't get no defense buffs while transformed so if you shoot a general so uh tran transforming suit with an instant stun weapon or a raid transforming suit with an instant stun weapon don't shrug it off and keep flying you shoot these two with an instant stunning weapon they fall out of the sky like they're made of paper mache and that makes no sense why do the why do the other two classes get treatment defensive treatment while transformed but these two don't like especially the zeta gundam the zeta gundam has been shot while transformed while equipped with the hml and he's like eh. <laughs> why does this one not get why do these two not get special treatment is beyond me so a lot of the support types are slow they have no melee resist look at the zock for one um the rezel i feel like is fine uh the double zeta well the zeta got him hml and these two just need defensive perks while transformed same with this one and that goes for all transforming mobile suits they should have defensive perks that makes sense at that moment when you're transformed do you have a lot of angled armor going on do you have a lot of uh stuff that would just bounce rounds i know not beam rifle shots but hey we can I mean, a lot of late war shoots had some form of beam coating on them to reduce the effectiveness of beams on armor um 
So this is one of those suits that desperately need a buff. The Shazar, uh, the Jesta Shazar t uh, type Team B. This is an awful suit. This is an insanely, insanely awful suit. Um, but it has an insanely, insanely good perk that I feel like should go on to pretty much any, any, uh, uh, what do you call it? Any freaking uh, sniping mobile suit. Rapid sniping. The, the system activates while in sniper mode, altering the performance of a weapon supporting this skill. This should be on every single sniping mobile suit in the game, I feel. Now, what this skill does is that it makes this from a Gerby type weapon to when you uh, snipe in with it, it turns into a rapid fire uh, middling damage type weapon. It does very little. It'll do about 2k to a general, but you rapid fire it and you can get like 10 or 12 shots off uh, on it if you pace your shots just fine without overheating. This, uh, it turns into a very, very high damaging weapon. In both, It's a very high damage in both ways. But I feel uh, with uh, rapid sniping, that perk should be put onto every single sniping type mobile suit. Uh, I feel like that would make uh say i wouldn't say the gun cannon is purely a sniping suit as this does have balancer and it does have backup cannon suits cannon weapons um but i feel like it should have access or sniping suit should have access to that weapon or that skill on other uh on suits um let's go over to the galga jaeger this is a this is a fan favorite mobile suit by uh, a lot of people I know actually adore this mobile suit. Um, why is it kind of dookie in this game? Like in the first game, it was a general. Uh, its beam rifle had instant knockdown. So if you got shot by a full powered shot, a full charge, you were you would find your ass up on the ground and they would follow up with the beam uh, spot gun because it was a relatively longer range weapon in the first game than it was in this game. This game is actually kind of short, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 200 meters in the first game. I think there were almost like 400 meters. It was kind of stupid. Um, so, uh, and yeah, so this this suit definitely needs a buff. Not the suit itself. I don't think the suit itself needs a buff. It's this weapon right here that needs a buff. Um, 15 second overheat and the four second focus time. I feel like needs to be changed this thing is not show this thing is shown going fully automatic um i'm talking about just lay on the trigger and that thing is just gonna fire and i feel like that should be changed i feel like that should that's how this weapon should uh be changed to not have a heat rate but turn it into like a 60 round machine gun reduce the damage and uh i would say like reduce the damage by a uh to around 250 a shot, 300 a shot, a 60 round uh, uh, magazine for it, and then have a sub weapon version of this that is a single shot stun uh, with maybe a 75% heat gauge to 85% uh, heat gauge uh, consumption. Uh, up the um, up the uh, range on the beam spot gun to 350. That way, it really can just hammer out damage constantly like it was shown in the anime or the uh is it an anime would you consider double o or the war in the pocket anime or is it an ova uh i'm gonna call it an ova but yeah that's how i would change this suit this chain like gelgugs i feel are relatively good where they're at except for the Jaeger. the Jaeger and the gelgug g are the uh and the Gelga ground type are the three weakest Gelgugs in game currently. Um, so weight class, I feel like this is fine. Uh, gun cannons, well, this one anyway. Uh, lore wise, they're able to take a lot more weapons than just uh, the sniper, uh, the uh, the gun cannon beam saber. Why is the cannon the C in cannon? 
for the weapon uh, capitalized. <laughs> I never noticed that before. Um, this suit needs to be changed. Uh, not fundamentally either. Not even a whole lot. It should have access to a shield. Um, uh, in the mangas and in Crossfire, you're able to... Well, in the mangas, some gun cannons were just given shields. Uh, and in, the, uh, in Crossfire, you were able to upgrade the gun cannon so it could have a shield. I would love to have that option. I would also like to have the option to carry a machine gun. Because in Crossfire, you're able to upgrade it to have a machine gun or the Gundam's beam rifle. I would like to have the Gundam's beam rifle on a gun cannon. So I can run and gun and then tie into my uh, cannons a little bit easier. Uh... Let's take a let's go into uh, a, a heavy class support, and I feel uh, suits like this, and this is gonna apply to the Zamel too, and whatever else big, heavy, bulky suit support types are uh, like this. If they can't defend themselves really well, um, they should be unstunnable, stunnable, unstunnable in, entirely, uh, because. If you're not going to give them melee resist, then they should be unstunnable. That's how I feel. Uh, there, if you it can't defend itself and it has to rely on its bulk or its allies to get in, uh, get close to the support to help it, then it should be able to be unstunned, so it can uh, get to its teams faster or some in something like that. There's no reason why this thing has zero melee resistance. It makes no sense. Uh, because in a lot of the other games that this thing is playable, it can go ham and it takes damage. Like even in melee. Or it can tank damage in melee. So in this game, it has absolutely no melee resist. Decent ballistic. And this is the 550 and it's only 27 and 27 for both ballistic and beam. But no melee resist. Um... Suits that are in this category, yes, have really good ranged uh, strength. Mine, my Zoc being at 77, uh, with a full uh, bring your freaking beams back underwater like in like half a second uh, firing speed. Um, suits like this, I know, are hard to balance, but they should at least have melee resist. There's a lot of armor, and it's shown. Suits with thick armor can slow down beam sabers. Look at the Jawagu, and it's a third of this size. And for the last suit, it's a good suit, the Zissa. And, um, and it's a fast suit, and it should have a booster mode, because it's wearing the booster, where this thing should be able to lie down and actually fly through the air. Um, so it should technically be quote unquote, like the, uh, gym intercept, uh, TB style suit, except for with no range, uh, handheld weapons and just use all those missiles mounted on its back. But that's not my gripe with this suit. My gripe with this suit is the, how slow, and this goes for any suit that uses missile type weapons. All missiles in this game are exceedingly slow and should be sped up by two, uh, 2 2.5 times. They should zoom. Yes, that would make suits like this strong and that stronger, and that's fine. But if I'm aiming at somebody and my re and I'm uh, trying to aim ahead of them, and my missiles are so slow they're not even halfway to the target and that dude's already like on my ass because i you know you know what i'm saying missiles should be increased speed wise all missiles should unless they're like the full armor uh the full armor g3 gunnams missiles which fight uh fly exceedingly exceedingly uh they hit stupid hard and have heavy stagger missiles should be uh made faster that's the only reason he's on the list is because i feel like all missile types should be made faster but i think that's it for me um tell me what you guys would change i definitely want a weight class for each suit or uh for all the suits to fit into should be heavy suits and medium weight suits and uh i don't have a light arm light uh I guess the Jaeger would be a light mobile suit in this category. 
But let me t uh, let me know what you think. Uh, light. I feel like light armor should be extremely fast, but I lost track of that subject when I started talking about mobile suits. Um, light armor should be extremely fast, but die easy. Medium medium weight mobile suits such as the Jaeger should be able to play a little bit more aggressively. Um, be still very fast and nimble, and still have you know be able to do things while heavy suits should just be the brick walls of everything and just be exceedingly hard to take down but let me know what you guys think um please don't flame me too hard uh but yeah let me know and we shall talk to you uh, guys at another time